Okay, I'm going to show how to connect to a PowerView server running on a, a supercomputer and then how to load that in your local version of uh, PowerView. Uh, so here in this terminal, I'm logged into, in this case, I'm logged into the Sonic server and I'm in a, a open phone case, this motorbike case, I have some results in it. I have a case.phone file in it. So from here, um, I'm going to load uh, Paraview, so I'm going to lo load Paraview 5.10. So uh, this version has to be the same or very close to the version that you have locally. So I have 5.10 on my computer here. So 5.10.0 and this is 5.10.1, so they seem to be compatible. So load Paraview. Then after you've loaded Paraview, uh, run this command pv server. So this is start this Paraview server uh, in this directory. And then I'm going to tell it a port that it's going to be connected to. So it's going to accept connections on this port. Then in another terminal, uh, this is just in my local computer. Uh, I'm going to run this SSH command. So this is going to uh, connect, in this case, to Sonic. So this is Sonic I've defined as a shortcut in my SSH configure file. So that's just logging in Sonic. And this um, is going to map my local port 556 to uh, the port 556 on uh, Sonic. So if I just run that, uh, in my case, it just logs in with SSH uh, key, so I don't have to do anything. So that, that's it connected. Uh, so nothing happens. So then if I go to PowerView, I go File, Connect, uh, Add Server, I give the name Sonic, and then I give it the port 5556. So that's on my local computer. It's going to listen to 556, and that's going to be connected to the, the Sonic 5561 where the Carving servers broadcasting. Uh, save it, select it, and go connect. So then, if it all works, it should connect fine. So, if you use maybe an incompatible version, so if the version of PowerView on the server is too different from the one on uh, local, then you might get some error to do with the, uh, a handshake error or something like that. So now it's connected to Sonic. So, if I go file open, uh, this is actually on Sonic now. So uh, this is not my local computer. This is really connected to Sonic, and then I can just load whatever I want, just like a normal power view. So if I load case.foam in, in this case, click apply. So this really is the the, the data on Sonic. Um, uh, so for example, in, in this case, it's just this motorbike uh, test case. So I can check uh, the results. Mm -hmm. Oh, I may have put that in the wrong way. Yeah, okay. So there's the little one right now. Yeah, so that's it. And then one other thing is that, that PowerView server. So if you click on it now, you can see that when I made the connection, it gives some connection uh, things and any PowerView errors you can do out here. Um, that PowerView server is running in serial. So if you have a big model running in parallel, you can actually run the PowerView server in parallel as well. So this link um, gives details of how to do that. So this is running in serial, but you can also run it just with MPI run, and then you can just run PowerView server uh, with MPI run. Uh, and for example, you could actually submit that. And once that job starts and waits, uh, then you can use uh, you can use that. Uh, like run PowerView in parallel, so it'll render. If you have a big model, it can render quickly. That's it.